it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. In today's nail art tutorial, Miri and I will be showing you how to create five beautiful floral nail art designs. The best part about these designs is that they're not only gorgeous, but they're super easy to do. All you need is a toothpick. No nail art brushes or nail polish stamping plates are required. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make it with Squarespace. And now on to the tutorial. The first design is a pattern of delicate little flowers. This one is super easy to do, you guys. It's perfect for beginners. Simply start off with a base color. We chose a light lilac purple. And then dip your toothpick into the color you'd like your flower petals to be. As you can see, we went with black. For each flower, just dot your toothpick around in a circle five times. Be sure to have each dot slightly touch so all the petals are connected with a little opening still in the center. Go ahead and create a few rows of these flowers across your entire nail. Have the placement of the flowers in each row alternate for best results. Also, when you get to the edge of your nail, don't forget to still add flowers. You can do so by just partially creating flowers to give the illusion that the pattern continues on. And once you're finished, you can finish off with a fast drying top coat and you're all done. These will look so pretty on both accent nails or as a whole manicure. For our next floral design, you will need four colors. One for the base, petals, leaves, and centers. After applying your base color, we're going to start with the flower petals again. However, this time they will be in the shape of hearts instead of dots. But no worries, these are easy to make as well. Just make little V-shapes. This flower will only require four petals around in a circle again. Be sure to leave space in between each flower petal. Then add little green lines around the flowers for the leaves. And once you're done that, you can finish off with three little black dots in the centers of the flowers. Top coat it for some shine and you're all done. Okay guys, I think this next one is my favorite out of all five. We're going to show you how to create this little floral pattern with three flowers grouped together. Begin with your first flower color and create the flowers by dotting five times around in a circle. So this is similar to the first design, except these dots are smaller and they all touch enough not to leave an open center. So be sure to leave a lot of space though in between these first flowers, because next you're going to choose your second flower color and then add these right next to the first ones. And once you're done that, you're going to finally go in with your third colored flowers. Then you can add in some green leaves and finish it with a little metallic center for each flower. And when you're all done, you can top it off with a fast drying top coat and you're done. The fourth design features some big roses. For this design, you'll need a base color, rose color, and green for the leaves. To create the roses, begin with a couple small squiggly lines for the center, and then continue to grow the rose by adding more squiggly lines to the outside of it. Guys, you can add as many roses as you'd like over your nail, and they look extra pretty if you make them in different sizes. Also, don't be afraid to have different colored roses on the same nail. If you want that look, go for it. Add in some little heart or V-shaped leaves, and then you can finish off with a top coat. All done! The last design would look really cute in both the spring and in the fall. We're going to be using a few different shades for this floral pattern. Create little lines coming off from each other like so. Just grow the flower out in a straight line, and then create one or two more using the same color. Then go in with a second color. So guys, once you've finished all of these long, tall flowers, you can add in some little yellow dots to complete the design. And that's it! Let us know in the comments which of these five designs you'll be trying out. Also, a big shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Create a beautiful website with Squarespace's all-in-one platform. There's nothing to install, patch, or upgrade ever. Their beautiful designer templates make creating a powerful online identity even easier. So if you're looking to launch your own nail art blog or a portfolio of your nail technician work, this is the place for you. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, 
Go to squarespace.com slash cutepolish to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. If you'd like to watch more awesome nail art tutorials here on Cute Polish, click these boxes. You can subscribe to Cute Polish for a new video every week by clicking right here. Also, be sure to check out Miri's personal nail channel by clicking this circle. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye!